Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. I am sure y'all are looking ridiculous right now. As of the filming of this video, there's a huge thing going on right now. We all have to stay quarantined. Well, actually, some states are trying to reopen up. I'm, hey, you won't see me going into any of those shops. And I'm sure you guys are probably feeling the same way, but you need a haircut. Well, welcome to this video and welcome to my channel. So I've been cutting my own hair since around 2015 or so. And the reason why is because if you think about it, you gotta book an appointment to a barber, you gotta commute there, you gotta wait in line, then you get your haircut, then you drive all the way back home, you take a shower, all that takes around one to two hours, okay? I don't like wasting time like that. So for me, whenever I cut my hair, it takes around you know, 20, 30 minutes, then I take a shower, then I do my hair and I'm ready to go. And I can cut it more often, so it saves me around $100 a month, roughly. And so today I'm gonna take you guys through how I cut my own hair personally. It's not gonna be the quality of what a barber could do because a barber can see all of your head. You're just doing this yourself with the mirror. It's not gonna be the same exact quality, but you're almost gonna get the same quality. There's going to be some equipment that you guys are gonna need. I'll leave as much as I can in the description below. Basically, you're gonna need some clippers. I have these wall clippers that I got from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description where you guys can pick it up. You're gonna need a trimmer. You're gonna need a handheld mirror. You're gonna need a comb. You're going to need some shears, and this is optional. I like having some thinning shears as well. And you're gonna also need a bathroom with a mirror in it. So just follow along. This video is gonna be slightly longer than your normal haircutting video because I show you guys exactly how I do everything. And then you guys are gonna see me go from this to this and how you guys can get similar results. So anyways, enough talking. Let's head to the bathroom, grow out the hair, and let's cut it. Oh, hey guys. So as you can see, with the power of editing, I took my shirt off and I look like a caveman now. What I normally do is I do a high skin fade. Like honestly, my hair isn't even too long on the sides. It's just long to me because I've been always doing a, a skin fade. But yeah, I'm looking kind of crazy right now. I cut it around every week to two weeks. That's a little extreme, but you can do that whenever you cut your hair at home. So first thing to do as usual is you're gonna wanna clean your trimmers and you wanna lube them up. And normally I would just cut my hair naked, but uh, since I'm filming a video, you know, <laughs> I don't want anything to be exposed. If I were you, I would just do it naked, sweep everything up afterwards. You're gonna wash it all off anyways when you take a shower and you don't have to dirty another pair of shorts. All right, so for me, since I do a high skin fade, I start with the trimmer as my lowest setting. The reason why I do it is because I don't like lining myself up all the way around. That's really hard to do if you're gonna use a mirror. I'm sure with enough practice, you can get it down very easily, but I'm not willing to learn. <laughs> I'm not that big into hair anyways. Um, I, I know a lot of people love hairstyles and growing their hair out or cutting their hair. Everyone, there's a lot of people that love hair. I'm just not particularly nerdy about that. And that's totally cool. You know, I'm nerdy about, you know, clothes, Star Wars, skateboarding. You know, I'm nerdy about a lot of things. We all have our nerdiness in certain areas. Hair is just not one of them for me. The trimmer gets a lot closer than the actual clippers at a zero guard, you know, with nothing on there. So we're gonna start with the sideburns and we're gonna go all the way around and create our first line. And always when you do it, you wanna flick out. You don't, you don't wanna just push in, you wanna flick out. Otherwise, you're gonna create really harsh lines. And it's gonna be hard to you know, clean that up and your haircut's not gonna look real nice. Flick up. Flick up. Okay, now we're gonna start from the back and go all the way around. This is probably not the best way to do it. Skin fade, but it's just what I do. All right guys, so what you wanna do is follow the natural shape of your head. If you just do a horizontal line surrounding your head, it would just look weird. Your head has a natural curve to it, so just follow that. Also a good idea that I forgot to do. <laughs> you wanna comb the top of your hair out of the way and you wanna comb your sides down. That way the clipper, the trimmer can get all of it perfectly. Let's get this all lined up perfectly so the clippers can just and then the top of your hair, just comb your hair out the way. If you have hair clips, that'd be ideal, but I don't. God, I look freaky, man. <laughs> look like Dragon Ball Z. All right, so again, we're trying to follow that natural curve of your head, but this part's really tricky. So what I want you guys to do is just practice with the mirror without cutting your hair yet. Just the hand motions of using a mirror against another mirror, because what you do, especially when you're not used to it, if you move your hand to the right, it's gonna move to the left. It's gonna feel super awkward. So what you wanna do is just practice that first before you cut your hair. All right, so this is the most important step is getting this line even. So we're gonna switch hands and we're gonna to wanna to make it as even as possible because this is your first guideline. And honestly, the first guideline is probably the most important one because if you don't get this right, you can really mess up your haircut and you can mess up the fade. And I've done that plenty of times, it's okay. Uh, if you go a little bit too high, don't worry. Just that's your new line and just try and make it even from there. And a lot of this is just looking at it in the mirror. 
making some adjustments, looking at it again until it's perfect and how you like it. So next up, we're gonna throw on the two guard and most clippers come with a lever and how it works is basically if you push the lever down, that means it is open, which adds a half size to whatever guard you're using. If there's no guard, that means it's a half and closed means you just lift the lever back up and whatever guard is on there is just the regular size it is. If it's a two, it's a two. And the reason why the lever exists is to help you blend and fade because you know there's no two and a half guard, there's no three and a half guard that comes with most kits. And so what I'm doing is I'm going straight up, going up a little bit higher and then pulling out. Again, you always wanna flick out, that way you can get a nice blend. Otherwise, it's gonna create a really weird line on your head because the natural shape of your head curves in. And if you follow in, it's just gonna look really bad. So you wanna flick out. And the reason why I do this is because I have a start point and an end point and most barbers aren't gonna like that. But again, this is a home haircutting tutorial. This ain't no barber shop. So I have a start point with the trimmer and an end point with the two and a half. And then just wanna use the, the guards in between to try and blend it inside. That's just how I like doing it. So now we're gonna throw on the half guard and you're just gonna follow that first line that you created. Just go up a, you know, maybe a half inch or an inch or so depending on where you started your skin fade. Since mine's a little bit high up, I don't want to go too crazy with it because we don't have that much real estate, especially around my temple area. But in the back, you can go a little bit higher. Alright, so now we're going to throw on the one guard and now you're just going to follow that line that you created from the half. And you just want to go up a little bit higher. And again, you're always trying to stick to following the shape of your head and you're flicking out. That way you're not going to create really bad harsh lines that are hard to blend and that's the whole thing with haircuts you just want to make it look even as possible because if one side is more faded than the other it's just going to look really wonky and just looks really weird all right so it gets a little harder here because it's starting to like blend in this is where the fun begins you already technically created another line with the one even though it's starting to fade in a little bit because you're pulling out. So you're gonna go to the one and a half and you're gonna go almost to where you ended your two and a half. That way you just use the two to blend it afterwards. So we're gonna do one and a half now. Remember, we're still on the one clip. Now we're on open, so it makes it a one and a half. And you're gonna see that the line on the side of your head isn't gonna be like, you know, it's not gonna be like that. It's starting to slowly become straight and that's what you want. If there's any abnormal hair strands, it's gonna really show, especially with the skin fade. So you just wanna make sure it's a straight line and if it curves out, you can fix it by just going like a half guard up or so and, or just flicking out, okay? That's why you flick out. All right guys, so like I just said, what is this, Animal Crossing? <laughs> so like I just said, your ultimate goal is to try and get like a straight fade because if you have bumps or ridges with your fade, it's gonna look really bad and that's not what you want. As you guys can see, the back of my head's already starting to get that fade going. And to keep it safe whenever you're creating a new line, it's better to just go a little bit lower than a little bit higher because if you go too high, you can't really get that hair back and you're gonna have to wait for your next haircut or your fade's gonna have to be a little bit higher. But if you go too low, it's okay. You can adjust and you can always go slightly higher and see if you like it or not. Okay, so now we got the two guard on. And remember, we ended at a two and a half. On the side, it's gonna be really easy. You just don't wanna go as high as you did. And you just wanna kind of blend it in, get the straight hairs, and then you're gonna always do some micro adjustments. You might have to put on the one or the half guard again, and then you just play with it. So we're gonna do a two close, not two open, because two open would be a two and a half, which we already did. All right, guys, so we did a zero with the trimmer. We did a half already. We did a one, we did a one and a half, and we ended it with the two and a half. Now we just have the two one, and then you just wanna Try and blend it as best as you can. Kind of the easy part because you can see like little ridges on the side of your face and using the two will blend it. If you see other ridges, then you'll just use the other guards to blend it. And then you just wanna make a little bit of micro adjustments and it's okay to go over it the same part multiple times because there's gonna be a lot of stray hairs and you just wanna do it till it looks even to your eyes. And I saw like a little bit of a ridge. So we're gonna use the half guard again and we're gonna try and blend that. So it's just a straight line going up my temple. And this is just the part where you make a bunch of micro adjustments. Okay, now here comes probably the most important part is you wanna get the actual skin fade going because you created a line with the trimmer and this is the last part you're gonna wanna blend. It's the hardest part. So what I really recommend you guys do is you flick out with the corner of your clippers because the line you created is curved. So if you use a whole blade where it's flat, you're gonna create really weird lines. So if you just use a corner, you just flick it out just slightly. It's gonna get a little bit of hairs. It might take a little bit longer. And that's how you get rid of that really, really harsh line. You know, if you don't get the fade right with the one or the two, it's fine. If you don't get the fade right from your skin to the half guard, it's definitely gonna look like a home haircut. 
And you guys might be asking why I'm using the clippers instead of the trimmers. Well, like I said before, the clippers don't get as close to the skin as a trimmer. So if you use a trimmer to try and blend it, you can create even harsher lines. But the zero guard on the clipper doesn't get as close to the skin. It gets really close, just not as close as a trimmer. And it's easier to blend it with the clipper because it doesn't get as close. All right, as you guys can see, it turned out decent. You know, it fades not perfect but you know good enough and especially after two days you're not even going to notice a difference so we're going to use a trimmer and you want to just line yourself up remember you don't have to do behind your ear or the back of your head because you already did the skin fade with the trimmer so don't have to pull my ear back and do this shit you know what i'm saying you know these lines right here by my temple maybe a little bit down right here that's all you have to do so just try and get a straight line just just nick it a tiny bit now we're gonna flick out from right here so we get this line right here. And that's pretty much it. For me, I'm letting my hair grow a little bit, but let me give you a quick pointer, especially since you know we're all in quarantine, why not grow out the top of your head and then just maintain the sides? That's what I would do if I were you guys. But if you guys, if your top of the hair is too long, what you wanna do is you wanna wet your hair if you have an empty Windex bottle, you know, rinse it out and then put water in there. You can spray your head like a barber. But I'm saving that Windex just in case because it has alcohol in it. It'll kill some bacteria during quarantine. Grab your comb. This will stretch out the hairs. And then this is what you want to do. You grab your shears. So what you want to do is you want to grab some strands of hair, stretch it out completely, then trim what you want to trim off. All right, so you just created a new line. Now you want to grab some more hair along with this that you just cut off. That way you already have a line and then you already can see the extra strands and you just trim that off and match that line. Next, see how this is, or there's my guideline right here and then you're gonna trim off some more. You can do that all the way around your head. Then I have these trimming shears. Basically they have teeth in it. Stop focusing on my face. Basically they have teeth in it and it's not gonna cut all your hair. It's gonna cut little pieces of it which means you're gonna have a lot of texture. So some sh some hairs will be shorter, some hairs will be longer, and it makes your haircut a little bit a lot a little bit nicer um, whenever you style it. So you're just gonna you know trim in random spots, nothing too crazy. So that is the haircut. Again, I, I would make sure you are naked. You know, I'm wearing shorts so I don't expose myself, but I would do it naked. Hop in the shower, you wash all this hair off. It's not gonna clog your drain. Don't even trip. If so, just buy some Drano. <laughs> this haircut, I'm not very good on my left side of the head. If a barber was a 10 out of 10, this is like a seven, an eight maybe. Passable, and that's totally cool. That's what I'm all about. Uh, I'm gonna take a shower, style the hair. We'll check out the full haircut afterwards. All right, so right after the shower, I grab a razor with a single blade to basically line up my forehead because you know most barbers, they use either a hot towel or a cream that opens up the pores. When you take a hot shower, your pores are open and you can easily shave your hair and i like using the razor instead of clippers because the clippers are always clipping right with the razor if you push up on the hair it's okay it's not going to cut anything unless you actually shave it but if with the clipper if you just push up a little bit too far it's going to look really bad so i just recommend using a razor for that all right guys that's a haircut it doesn't look too bad when you look at the front but on the sides you know there could be some improvements but again it's a diy haircut like give me a break come on you're cutting your hair on your own it's not going to be barbershop worthy but it's decent and by day two it's going to look it's gonna look just fine. I don't know, what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. And if you guys found this video helpful or informative, make sure you turn that like button blue. Let the YouTube algorithm gods bless this channel with love. And I hope you guys try this out. Honestly, you save a lot of money. It's actually a good skill to know, especially during these times. And for you kids out there, you can turn this into a side hustle. Cut your friend's hair. That way you can pay for your own haircut. I don't know, up to you guys, but yeah. Um, keep practicing. You know, I'm still practicing, even though I've been doing this for years. Um, still not the best. I've gotten to the point where I don't care if it, if it doesn't look as perfect because like I said By day two, it's gonna look just fine. Follow me on Instagram if you guys haven't already at fly with Johnny Ty And until then stay fly stay healthy cut your hair do it. It's fun. I'm out. Peace You know make sure you guys clean up your mess use a broom sweep this up and if you're not sweeping with this You know type of bamboo Asian broom. Are you really sweeping?